types of audio chelates. Hello and welcome to the session types of audio chelates. Let us have an overview about the content. Educational technology is any sort of technology that enhances or enables learning. Today's technology offers many choices to the informed educator who wishes to capitalize on a new generation's appetite for multimedia presentations. One such technology is the use of audiovisual aids in classroom. Audiovisual aids are an important medium of communication that has been used for a long time in various situations. Audiovisual technology has an important role to play in the modern classroom. Audiovisual materials are produced, distributed and used as planned components of educational programs. These are planned educational materials that appeal to the senses of the people and quicken learning facilities for clear understanding. But they should be seen in the relationship to teaching as a whole and to the learning process as a whole until the teacher understands the relationship between audiovisual material and teaching learning process. You must remember that a mere collection of audiovisual aids cannot make teaching effective and meaningful. They are not only aids and not a substitute for the teacher. We should know what material is available and when and how it is to be used. While using audiovisual aids, we should make the best use of the things available in the classroom or things that are available in the locality. Some of the audiovisual aids that are being developed these days are much more sophisticated and makes it easy to use by any person. There are students who are quite capable of learning by themselves without the use of interactive technology. But students with special needs often require information to be presented to them in several different formats before they can adequately understand a concept or process information. The main purpose of using an audiovisual aid in classrooms are supplement and enrich teachers own teaching, make teaching learning more concrete, to create interest among the group learners, to serve an instructional role in itself, to make teaching as an effective process. The scope of audiovisual aids is not only up to procure and make presentations, but also to use it as an effective tool for communication in a triangular process that is motivation, stimulation and clarification. Now, let us see the benefits of using audiovisual aid. They are audiovisual aids are great motivators for the students. This helps them learn better with more zeal and enthusiasm. Audiovisual aids can facilitate the proper understanding to the students of any subject, thus encouraging healthy class interaction between teacher and the learners. Teaching aids help to increase the vocabulary of the students more effectively. It provides proper environment in sustaining the attention of the students attention. Attention is the true factor in any process of learning and teaching. Visual aids stir an interest in students automatically. When implemented effectively, it helps in saving both time and energy of the instructors as well as the learner. Every individual has a tendency to forget things. Presentations make things more memorable and thus increase the chances that what is said will be remembered. It gives a real touch of the learning situation by making the classroom live and active. Many students get a chance to use these aids. So, a real touch gives them a clear image of what is being taught. Use of audiovisual aids like radio and television help in mass education. Employment of the tools gives a great scope for children to move about, talk, laugh and comment upon. Making use of visual aids helps to accentuate and illuminate important ideas. 
teaching aids provide complete example for conceptual thinking. Audiovisual aids can facilitate the proper understanding to the students which discourage the act of cramming. Now, let us see about the non projected audiovisual aids. There are various types of audiovisual aids that is traditional as well as modern aids of audiovisual aids. At the primary level audiovisual aids are divided on the basis of learners sense organs that are influenced by the aids. An aid that influences the learners auditory sense is known as the audio aid. Audio aids include record players like mp3, radio and gramophone. An aid that influences the learner's sight is known as visual aid and this category include blackboard or whiteboard and the chalk or pen, bulletin boards, globe, models, charts, photographs, textbooks, silent motion pictures, etc. The aids that influence both the sense of sight and hearing are classified under audiovisual aids. Keeping the media in mind, these aids are divided into two categories, print and non-print. Aids that are highly dominated by printing are called print media, example textbooks and supplementary readers. All materials other than textbooks and supplementary readers come under non-print media, example TV, charts, pictures, graphs, video films, etc. The actual classification of audiovisual aids is based on the mode in which it is used. It is divided into three non projected audiovisual aids, projected audiovisual aids, and electronic audiovisual aids. Non projected audiovisual aids include books, journals, instruction manuals, handouts, programmed text, chalk and board charts, cutouts and models. Non-projected aid can be used in lighted rooms and makes it easy for the process not taking. Some of the commonly used non-projected aids are graphic aids. This includes those with pictorial materials like charts which are the combination of pictorial, graphic, numerical or vertical material which presents a clear summary. Charts help in highlighting the important points and provide outline of materials covered in a presentation. Charts by itself is divided into narrative charts, the cause and defect charts, evolution charts, chain charts, pull charts, striptease charts, flip charts, flow charts, pie charts, etc. Now, let us see what is flashcards. Flashcards are a set of pictured paper cards of varying sizes that are flashed one by one in a logical sequence. It can be used to introduce and present topics. It can be used to apply information already gained by students to new situations. Now, let us see about posters. Posters are the graphic aids with short, quick and typical messages with attention capturing paintings. It conveys the message very quickly. Graphs. Graphs are the visual teaching aids for presenting statistical data and contrasting the trends or change of certain attributes. There are different types of graphs which include the pie graph, bar graph, line graph, pictorial graph, etc. Maps. A map is a graphic aid which conveys the message by lines, symbols, words and colors. Different types of maps are political maps, population maps, picture maps, tourist maps, physical maps, relief maps, railway maps, road maps, air maps, sea route maps, weather maps, etc. Newspapers. With newspapers, the information will be available in low cost. Not only this, the contents are easy to read and understand written in simple language. 
it is the best method to reach large group or audiences. Comic strips. A comic strip is a graphic depiction in a series of pictures or sketches of some character and events full of action. A comic strip presentation can stir the imagination of children. It boosts the courage of children and builds up the spirit of adventure. Comic strips hamper the development of language of children. Three-dimensional aids. It is a replica of a real thing made recognizable in height, weight, depth and shapes as a whole. These models illustrate the application side of certain principles and laws. They involve the use of all the five senses and thus make learning effective. Types of three dimensional models involve solid models, x-ray models, cutaway models, sand models and working models. Exhibits. The pieces of work done by the students for an exhibition are called exhibits. Exhibitions inspire the students to learn by doing things themselves and they get a sense of involvement. Museum. A museum is a building displaying a collection of historical relics, antiques, works of arts, works of science, literature and other artifacts of general interest. Dharamas. A dharma is a three dimensional arrangement of related objects, models and cutouts to illustrate a central theme or concept. The objects and models are generally placed in big box or showcase with a glass covering and background printed with a shade or a scene. Dharmas provide a good opportunity to learn by giving the appearance of actual objects. Live things can also be shown using dioramas. Display boards. A chalkboard otherwise called blackboard is a rewritable surface on which text or drawings can be made using slate chalks. Other display boards are flannel boards or flannel graph. This is also known as felt board, frig board, slab board, visual board etc. It is a storytelling system. Paper cutouts of characters and objects in a story can be placed on the board. It permits numerous arrangements of visual materials. Bulletin board is a soft board which will hold pins or tags. It is also called a pin board or notice board. Pegboard is a type of board which contains small holes to fix certain letters into the holes. Another display board commonly used in classroom is a magnetic box which is a framed iron sheet carrying porcelain coating in some dark color generally black or green. It can be used to display pictures, cutouts and light objects with disc magnets or magnetic holders. Now let us see the advantages of non-projected audiovisual aids. It is inexpensive, sophisticated, unbreakable, can be used in lighted rooms, easily used with good results. Now let us see the disadvantages of non-projected audiovisual aids. It is cumbersome, hard for large group to see, may require you to turn your back to audience generally steel materials, requires thorough preparation, preparation is time consuming, need not necessarily give enough information, does not attract audience for a longer time. Now, let us see about projected audiovisual aids. When projected aid is used, an enlarged image of the material is projected. It is projected on a screen kept at a distance from the projector. Room is either totally or partially darkened. A projected aid is supposed to be more effective than a non-projected aid since a darkened room reduces distraction and brightens images on the screen. This secures attention of the audience also. 
the examples of projected audiovisual aid include overhead projectors, slides, film strips, films, etc. An illuminating system is used in projected aids. The function of the illumination system is to illuminate slides or film transparency uniformly by a convergent beam of light for optimum brightness of image. There are two types of projections. Front projection, in this the projector and the audience or the learner are on the same side of the screen. It is commonly used in dark rooms. Front projectors are ideal for large audience. Rear projection, in this the audience or the learners and the projector are separated by translucent projection screen. It is ideally suited for exhibitions. Some of the commonly used projected audiovisual aids are the following. Overhead projectors. It is the most commonly used projected aid. It projects transparencies with brilliant screen images suitable for use in a lighted room. The teacher can write or draw diagrams on the transparency while he teaches. It permits the teacher to stand in front of the class while using the projector. Thus, it enables her to point out features appearing on the screen by pointing to the materials at the projector itself and at the same time to observe the student's reactions to her discussion. It is used to develop concepts and sequences in a subject matter. There are also opaque projectors on which you can project a variety of materials, example book pages, objects, coins, postcards or any other similar flat materials that is non-transparent. Slides. Slide projectors are of another type. A slide is a small piece of transparent material on which a single pictorial image or zine or graphic image has been photographed or reproduced. The arrangement of slides in proper sequence according to the topic discussed is an important aspect of teaching with them. Film strips. Film strips are sequences of transparent still pictures with individual frames. A tape recorded narration can be synchronized with film strip. There are two types of film strips, discussion film strips and sound film strips. Discussion film strip is continuous strip of film consisting of individual frames arranged in sequences usually with explanatory titles. Sound slide film strip is similar to film strips but instead of explanatory titles or spoken discussion recorded, explanation is audible which is synchronized with the pictures. Advantages of projected audio aids. They are impressive, stimulates attention and arouses interest, dramatic and colorful, more attractive due to color, motion associated with sound will be effective easier for members of large group to see, can create desired mood or effect for what is taught or said, permits face to face interaction with the audience, can present information in systematic developmental sequences, require limited planning, easy to revive and update, does not require any typed material handwritten material can be used, inexpensive when quantity reproduction is required. Now let us see the disadvantages of projected audio aids. They are higher cost when there is no need for quantity reproduction, limited availability, more trouble to prepare, possibility of breakdown because they require technology, potential to be noisy difficult to use in lighted rooms. What is meant by electronic audio visual aids? Educational technology enables pupils to gather data that would otherwise be difficult or even impossible. The best example of this is with the use of latest technology electronic audio visual aids like computers and the internet. 
Electronic aids are mainly used for collection and analysis of data. Students can use the internet to get up to the minute information on prices. They can use a CD-ROM to watch movies of old technology speakers. Even teachers can quickly access documents from internet and CD-ROMs addressing individual students' needs. The most common electronic visual aid used in a classroom include computers. Computers were a subject to be taught a few years back. But now it has become a part of every class, part of every student. Computer can be used as a language learning tool also, similar to the use of a VCR or tape recorder. The use of a computer for listening exercises often provides not only sound but also visual input providing students with more contextual clues. Especially in the field of pronunciation, students can employ a computer to record themselves to compare their pronunciation to a target pronunciation. Computers are complex systems with complicated operating systems. These machines require trained technicians to configure them and troubleshoot the variety of problems that occur in everyday usage. Properly trained technicians and network administrators are expensive. By using computers, students get easily motivated. This is because computers are non-judgmental. Instant feedback can be given to the students if it is a computer based instruction. There is software which can record and check the performance of the students on the basis of which the students can be suggested different ways to improve their performances. PowerPoint presentations with the help of computers are also of great help in improving a student's caliber. Thus, computers can provide distinct advantages over many other traditional approaches. Video and Television Video, though be motion or still, can help students understand from the picture with or without hearing any statement, dialogue, etc. Teaching with the help of video is called video aided instruction. In video aided instruction, Learners' reactions are generally ascertained through a questionnaire. Nowadays, educational video cassettes are also available with video libraries in the market. Video conferencing using software such as Digiphone or Netphone and CUCME create even more exciting educational opportunities for the students. Yet another means of electronic audiovisual aid is the television. Television is an exciting means of communication. The instructor can show the students TV programs related to a subject and make them the basis of discussion. CCTV. The CCTV means closed circuit television. It is a TV system that does not broadcast TV signals to public but transmits them over to limited monitors. The most widely known use of CCTV is in security systems and such applications as retail shops, banks, government establishments, etc. CCTV system is not only applied to the security and surveillance purposes, but also to other fields like laboratory in schools or in private companies, even to production lines in factories. Internet. A number of teachers around the country have been using the internet in their classroom for many years. These pioneer internet using educators have had the opportunity to experiment with a number of techniques and create teaching methods that tap into the educational potential of the internet. Educators who are just beginning to explore the possibility of using the internet in curriculum can benefit from the experience of these teachers. Some teachers create their own web pages that contain relevant curriculum links that the students can access in the classroom and at home. 
Students with internet access at home can visit the school website and the teacher's link page. Research can continue at home without interruption. Sometimes mindless surfing of internet can be waste of time. There is also a chance that it increases the possibility that students will encounter a website containing inappropriate or objectionable material. Students can also communicate in real time through online conferencing. Publishing students work is an excellent use of the internet. Students can create websites that allow them to share their knowledge with others. Teachers need to develop a basic foundation of personal computer skills before they attempt some of the more advanced internet related activities. Audio. Using audio in the classroom can enhance listening, speaking and communication skills in students of any age. There are different ways to use audio to improve the standard of teaching and learning in your classroom. Using audiobooks is another way to deliver a class that is learning a difficult book. You can also use audiobooks in subjects like history or social science as there are books that have examples of historical battles and social issues read in an interesting and engaging way. Radio. Radio technology offers a unique way for K-12 teachers to integrate technology into the curriculum. English and language arts teachers will be able to use radios to reinforce listening, writing and speaking skills. With a shortwave radio, foreign language teachers can provide advanced students with an opportunity to hear the authentic language demonstrated by native speakers. Teachers with internet connection will find radios and accessible technology for bringing the world to their students. Radio can also be used to hear music. Use music as an example of how we hear sounds. Advantages of electronic audiovisual aids. They are easy to use, easy to interact with the listeners or learners, very effective in specialist roles, impactful presentation, easy to update, professional, seeks attention very easily, retains interest in the listener or the learner, no audibility or visibility problems, can be repeated again and again, can depict a lot of information, can be used as a lasting reference. Now, let us see the disadvantages of electronic audiovisual aids. The poorly presented presentations will have negative effect on the learners, not compatible always, expensive hence not affordable by everyone, can be noisy, difficult to transport, may compete with the presenter, prone to technical failures, might need special skills for its operation, requires power supply, can cause distraction. Now, let us summarize. Audiovisual technology has an important role to play in the modern classroom. They should be seen in the relationship to teaching as a whole and to the learning process until the teacher understands the relationship between audiovisual material and teaching learning process. There are students who are quite capable of learning by themselves without the use of interactive technology. But students with special needs often require information to be presented to them in several different formats before they can adequately understand a concept or process information. The audiovisual aids have many benefits of being a great motivator by facilitating proper understanding among students, encouraging them in healthy interaction. Teaching aids help to increase the vocabulary of the students more effectively. It provides 
proper environment in sustaining the attention of the student's attention. The chapter in detail discusses the different types of audiovisual aids. The audiovisual aids are divided into three categories non-projected audiovisual aids, projected audiovisual aids and electronic audiovisual aids. Non-projected audiovisual aids include books, journals, instructional manuals, graphic aids, flashcards, maps, newspapers, exhibits, museum, dioramas, handouts, programmed text, chalk and board, charts, cutouts and models. They are inexpensive, unbreakable and give result easily. At the same time, they are a steel material which require thorough preparation and is hard for large group to hear and see. Projected visual aid includes overhead projectors, slides, film strips, etc. They help in grabbing the attention of the listeners. They are more attractive, colorful and impressive and require limited planning. With the help of projected aids, it is easy for members of large group to see and help in creating desired mood or effect among the audience. The main disadvantage of these aids is that they are costly and takes a lot of time. Electronic aids are mainly used for collection and analysis of data. Computers, internet, audio, video, television, CCTV and radio are a few to mention. They are easy to use, help in successful presentation and retain interest in the listener or the learner. Electronic equipments can be used for lasting references and can depict a lot of information. The disadvantage of electronic aid is that it has a chance to have negative effect on the learners. These equipments require power supply, difficult to transport and may need special skills for its preparation.